I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will analyze the discriminant b square minus 4 is e to answer the question. The questions are for what values of k will the function f of x equals to 7x square plus 3x plus k have two zeros? Then we have for what values of k will the function f of x equals to kx square minus 5x plus k have one zero? And third one here is for what values of k will the function f of x equals to 9x square minus 8x plus k have no zeros? The strategy, as you know, is to analyze the discriminant, which is b square minus 4ac, right? Now, for two zeros, we know b square minus 4ac should be greater than zero, right? So we have two real roots. For 1, 0, b square minus 4ac should be equal to 0. And for no zeros, b square minus 4ac should be less than 0, right? So that is what it is. When we are talking about b square minus 4ac, we are actually talking about standard equation y equals to ax square plus bx plus c, right? The quadratic equation standard form where a is the coefficient of x squared, b is coefficient of x, and c is the constant. Perfect. So you can actually pause the video now, answer, and then look into my suggestions. So the first one here is 7x squared plus 3x plus k. We need two zeros. So you are looking for greater than zero for the discriminant value. b is 3. So we can write down here 3 squared minus 4 times a is 7 times k and that should be greater than 0. So that is what we need to analyze. Is it okay? So that gives you 9 minus 28k is greater than 0. Correct? So bringing 28 to this side, we can say 9 is greater than 28k or 9 divided by 28 is greater than k. Correct? That is what you get. Or you can write your answer as k is less than uh, 9 divided by 28. Perfect. There is no need to write in decimals. Second question is, for what values of k will this function have 1, 0? b square, which means minus 5 square minus 4 times a and c are k, right? That should be equal to 0. So that gives me 25 minus 4k square equals to 0. So when we want to solve it, we'll take it to the other side. We say 4k square equals to 25 or k square equals to 25 over 4. When you square root it, you get two values of k. So when you square root uh, 25 over 4, you get two values. So let me write plus and minus in red so that you remember. Okay, and what we get here is plus minus 5 over 2, correct? The last one here is no zeros, that is b square, which is minus 8 square minus 4 times a is 9 times k should be less than 0, right? So that is to say 64, and we are taking this to the left side and writing this as 36k. Is that okay? Now solving for k, we can say uh, k is greater than 64 over 36, correct? Or we can say k is greater than, now you could divide both by, uh, by 4, right? So 4 times 1 is 4, 24 is 6, 4 times 9, so k is greater than 16 over 9. So these are the values of k which you find from the given conditions. The idea is to understand what the discriminant b square minus 4ac is, and based on that value, whether it is positive, 0, or negative, we can decide whether we are going to have two zeros, one zero, or no zero, right? I hope that really helps. Thank you and all the best.